Hi, this is Eugene from Economics and Tuition Genius and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for the Apple Watch TV 6 which I've just received today. Right, if you're wondering what the heck is an economics tutor doing trying to do an unboxing video for an electronic product? Right, um, the point here is that right, number one, I'm trying to hone my um, video taking and video editing skills and number two is to try to create exposure for my YouTube channel so that uh, more people will subscribe to my channel. So I'm just trying to also figure out the YouTube algorithm and how they place uh, videos into the feed of uh, people. Right, so that's, that's the one, one key reason why I'm doing this unboxing video today. Right, the other thing is also that um, trying out electronics is kind of like something that I like to do. Right, so I thought I'll just film this process out bring this process down of me unboxing this Apple Watch Series 6. Now, um, I'll just share with you um, which one did I actually purchase. But I purchased the Apple Watch Series 6, the 44mm blue aluminum case version, which is the new one. Right, so uh, previously they only had like space grey, gold, and I think if I'm not wrong, silver. Right, the, the version that I've got is the blue aluminum case. Right, I also got the um, the new spot loop. Right, so we're gonna take a look at this. So I'm gonna start with this unboxing video. Right, so it comes in this nice packaging. Right, so um, I'm gonna start. Plastic layer is out. Let's see how I can take this apart. Right, so this is how the box looks like, the, the exterior of the box looks like. And here's the box. Right, it comes in two parts. Right, I think one is the watch itself. Right, it is the watch. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in so you can take a closer look at how this box looks like. Right, and uh, they pack the strap separately. The box of the set, the, the strap separately. Okay, so here goes. Right, let's let's open up the watch itself. Okay, so opening up the watch like this right and there's like a protective layer for the Apple watch itself so the Apple watch looks like this all right and let's try to open that up it feels very fragile so I want to damage the case so I not gently push it out Right, and so the, the blue aluminum case looks like this. Just, just in case if you're wondering how it looks like, it looks like this. You see the blue? Okay. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna take out the strap. Now, what, what before I take out the strap, let's look at what else is available. Uh, so these are the instructions. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave the instructions aside. Okay, and uh, of, of course, with uh, Apple's trying to look at uh, um, saving the environment and being sustainable. It's not that I disagree with that, but I think um, when we look at economic concepts, right, what is one way to increase profitability? Right? Um, well, of course, uh, we know that Apple has brand equity, so it can't try, it can't say that, hey, you know, I'm going to try to cut uh, my cost to increase profitability. That's not something that they can say out loud. Right, so I think one of the things that um, they would do would be to actually cut out um, the, some of the components which will reduce the production costs and at the same time have them make profitability and also improve their brand image because they will be saying that they're, what they're saying is that they are trying to cut out the power adapter because they want to avoid wastage of parts. Okay, so um, that's, that's what they're saying. So it, it only comes shipped with a USB cable. Right, this is this is the USB cable. Um, it's USB A. It's not USB C. So I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm kind of disappointed that it's not USB C, right? Because most of my um, devices are already on USB C. And this is USB A. Okay, but I guess um, it, it fits into the most of the power adapters. Uh, so I guess that works well. All right. So I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this. Uh, this this box aside with the cable aside. Okay, I'm gonna put this 
table here. Alright, so the table is here. It's a bit messy. Okay, so the box, I'm done with the, the first box. I'm gonna open up the strap. So how do I open up the strap? There's a green arrow over here. So let's pick up the strap. Let's see how it looks like. One that they, they were recommending, and I thought it looked nice, and, and I like it. Too. Right, uh, the charcoal strap is quite comfortable, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on right now. With the Apple Watch. Right, so I'm gonna put this right now on the Apple Watch and see how it feels like. Okay, so it's been it's quite some time since I uh, I last. Start it up. How do you start up an Apple Watch? It's been a while since I last used an Apple Watch. Okay, so this is starting up now. Let's see what happens. Start it up. iPhone close to your Apple Watch in multiple languages. So in case you want to see what it says, it says doing your iPhone close to your Apple Watch. Right, um, I'm not an iPhone user actually. Right, um, I'm actually not an iPhone user. I am I'm using the Samsung S20 right now. I haven't been an iPhone user since iPhone 7. Right, um, so I, I don't have an iPhone, so um, this is this is uh, an old iPhone 7 Plus. This is an old iPhone 7 Plus with a broken screen, you can see. Right, so which I I, I, I took it out. This is a backup backup, backup phone, um, my, or rather my wife's backup phone. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm intending to switch back, okay? So I'm intending to switch back um, to, to this. I mean, I need to switch back to this um, iPhone once this new iPhone come, came, uh, comes out. Now, I haven't, I haven't been an iPhone user for quite some time. I've been using the Google Pixel, right? Uh, Pixel 2, Pixel 3, Pixel 4, and, and then uh, finally now the Samsung S20. Right, um, and the reason why I haven't been on the uh, iPhone platform is because I don't think that there, were, there, was, there was anything revolutionary. Right, and this is a concept that I cover in my class uh, just, just this couple of weeks. I was explaining to the class that in an oligopolistic market structure, firms, um, will, if they were facing competition, they will use their supernormal profits to invest in research and development, which is pretty much what Apple has been doing. But I feel that uh, what they have been doing were incremental improvements on their mobile phones and there's, there's not that many significant revolutionary changes. Right. So I'm going to talk more about that later. So uh, in the meantime, let's continue with the unboxing video. So you can see I'm trying to infuse a little bit of economic concepts uh, with this unboxing video. Right, um, so what it says here, it says use your phone, right? It says use your phone uh, to set up this Apple Watch. Right, I'm going to click continue and see what happens. So let, let, let me give you a real time uh, showing of what actually happens. 
hey, if you have an Apple Watch, you can set it up here so it auto detects when it's in reach. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, set up for myself. Put your Apple Watch and put it up to the camera. Okay, so, okay, so you can see this is something that's happening over here. Okay, so I'm gonna do that right now. My camera is not very good. Apple Watch is packed. I don't know if you can see that it's pretty dark, but um, the Apple Watch is now packed. So I'm going to click set up Apple Watch. I wear it on the left wrist. It's asking me for my wrist preference. So I'm saying left wrist. Okay, connecting your Apple Watch, this may take a moment. So as it takes a moment, I'm going to continue telling you about um, um, why I'm switching to the Apple Watch again. Now, if you want to do a, a comparison between the Apple Watch Series 1 and Apple Watch Series 6 SE. Um, it, it looks like that, right? So this is my Apple Watch Series 1. This is the very first generation. So when I first got the Apple Watch, I used it for about a year, right? And then after that, I switched to a Fitbit. Now the reason why I switched to a Fitbit is because uh, the first of all, I, I don't I don't think that the Apple Watch One was. Uh, was feature packed. Okay, the reason why I thought so was that number one, the Apple Watch Series One, um, you couldn't you couldn't use it together. Um, uh, you have to use it together with an iPhone. Okay, which means you're stuck with the iPhone. And also, um, it doesn't you can't use it on its own. Meaning to say that without an iPhone nearby, uh, is 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 you can't make calls with it. You can't do anything with it. And the other thing is that um, the Fitbit has native sleep tracking. So I was using a Fitbit Charge HR2, and then now uh. Currently using this Fitbit Ionic. Alright, so what I like about the Fitbit Ionic is that it has about five days battery life. Okay, it has about five days battery life. I don't need to charge it very often. Okay, you, it, I can use it to track my runs. Okay, when I when I go for a jog, I can use it to track uh, how the distance, the GPS, and um, um, I think most importantly, the Fitbit is something you can wear to sleep, and it has native sleep tracking function, which the Apple Watch does not have. Right, so I'm going to put it side by side so you can see what's the difference between the Apple Watch and the Fitbit Bionic. Right, so I'm switching back to the Apple Watch because I think that right, I, after so long, Apple Watch has finally caught up and it has a significant improvement over the Ionic, the Fitbit Bionic in the sense that it has um, all the health functions like heart rate tracking, it has the native sleep tracking function and it can operate on its own. So this version um, is the LTE version whereby uh, you can actually make phone calls on the Apple Watch. Alright, now um, I think it's prompting me now. Okay, and uh, terms and conditions, I click agree, right? How long do you want me to talk? Uh, how, long, how long do you want me to do this setup for? Uh, enable root tracking, okay. Watch analytics, uh, sh should I share? Okay, sure, I'll share. Okay, shared settings, okay. Um, what, what, what is my preference for bow size and text? Okay, I don't need bow size, I'm not blind. Continue. Apple Watch passcode, so I'm gonna create a passcode now. Right, so what's, what's gonna be my passcode? Oh, they want, they want me to do it over here, so I'm gonna do it with my passcode. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Set up activity. Okay, they want me to key in my birthday so that they can set up. I'm selecting my gender, I'm selecting my height. Okay, what's my weight? Alright, continue. Okay, uh, what's my move goal? Let's have a moderate move goal. What's my exercise goal? 30 minutes a day. Stand go, okay, enable, continue, set up later, emergency SOS, continue mobile data, yes, set up mobile data. Okay, right, um, so it has the, um, I'm, I'm, I've actually caught in my uh, mobile provider, uh, Singtel, okay, and, and under Singtel, they have this number share uh, feature that you can activate. Right, so I think they have three months free. So I'm 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 activating number share right now. So the the number share activation is uh instant. 
Right, so it's instant. You see, I've activated number share already. Right, so it says that please wait while we sync your mobile number with your Apple Watch. Okay, so I'm 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 kind of done. Clock faces. Uh, install available apps. Yes, I'm gonna install all available apps. Okay, it says that I am syncing. Right, so take a look at the watch if you want. Right, admire the the, the Apple Watch. Okay, all right, this is how it looks like. Alright, and it's, uh, it's doing synchronizing. Okay, on my phone it says Apple Watch is synchronizing. That's what it says. So we're going to leave it to synchronize. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to do a comparison, a side by side comparison. Okay, so this, this over here, the one in black, is the Apple Watch Series 1. Okay, and this over here on uh, this side. The, the one that I'm holding here right now in blue is the Apple Watch Series 6. You can see they look very similar. Okay, so from, from my observation, what's the difference between the two? Okay, physical appearance, right, they look pretty much similar. Okay, they look pretty much similar. Actually, very, very similar. Right, uh, but um, it's actually what's inside that matters. This Apple Watch Series 6 has the latest chip. Very, it has the latest chip. Um, and apart from having the latest chip, it has new functions like the uh, blood oxygen uh, level that you can monitor. It has, uh, like I mentioned just now, the native sleep tracking function. If you get the, the, the version with LTE, you can also make phone calls, you can SMS, but that, that, that feature has been around for a while. It's actually been a while, around for a while. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm, maybe if, if, if this video is, is successful, I will make uh, another video uh, in a few days time. When uh, um, I have started to use the Apple Watch, I am going to share with you uh, what are the features of Apple Watch that I find most useful. So if you like this video, please click subscribe and um, enter in the comments and, and share with me what, what are the things that you would like me to review on about the Apple Watch series and whether you, you will be interested for me to do a video where I do a side-by-side -side co comparison between the Ionic and the Apple Watch series 6. Okay, right, so that's all for today and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.